this vlog mess for a regular beauty video. January is going to be a big one for me. I am, I've got plans. Everybody does. It's January. It's the new year. Everyone has kind of like grand plans to redesign themselves, don't they? And YouTube wise, I have big, big plans, which hopefully you will enjoy. But because of that, I didn't want to get out of the habit of sitting down and chatting with you guys. And so here we are. I will still be vlogging every single day, but some of those vlogs will just be made up of like two days instead of one. So today's video is going to be a random five favourites. It's five things that I feel like I maybe haven't spoken about that much recently, but I've been using a lot, or things I haven't spoken about at all, whatever. I'm going to kick off with the palette that I used today, and it's one that I've been using um, a lot over the last week or so, and it's this, oh gosh, lost the applicator, the I Heart Makeup Chocolate Elixir. I Heart Makeup is like the makeup revolution brand. Um, I love this so much and the funny thing is I've got some of the other chocolate palettes um, and I had no idea they actually smell of chocolate so you know like you know like the um, Too Faced chocolate bars which basically this is like a lower cost version of a dupe um, they, these also smell like chocolate and I had no idea I've been using it all this time and then I don't know what made me smell it or if I just kind of happened to waft it past my nose I can't remember but I was like Oh my god, it really smells like chocolate. So it's not got quite that same strength of a smell because I definitely knew with all of the Too Faced stuff and even the chocolate bronze that I knew immediately uh, as soon as I started using it. And I think that stuff even tastes like chocolate because I know when I've used the bronzer, which I'm now thinking I have to pull out because it's one of my favourites, I've got like little bits of it, you know, the, the fallout in my mouth and it's like, mm, that actually tastes really nice. So I, I can't tell you, I'm not gonna, no, I'm not. I'm like, um, shall I? no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna taste it. Um, but I really, really like the colours in here. The colour selection for this time of year is amazing. It's got a decent amount of kind of mid-tones because I just like something bright on the eyelid, a little bit of something in the crease, but the reds and stuff, it's just perfect. It's just the right amount of kind of colour because I know it's not a lot of colour. Um, but I just like to add a little bit of red to the crease, a little bit of something, um, which is not too much if you're a little bit scared of colour like I am. I like a bold lip but I am a little bit scared of colour on the lids. Spring, summer time, I get into my corals and stuff, but I want to be a little bit more adventurous next year with makeup. I want to do like more big makeup. I spoke a little bit about it this year, being a bit nervous about uh, wearing too much makeup because now I'm in my 30s, my skin has changed and I feel like things don't look as good. It's not an age thing, it's just once I hit 30, I feel like I started to look at my skin a little bit more and realised that, you know, my eyes have dropped a little bit, things are changing, things don't look the same, um, a lot of trends and a lot of uh, applications and stuff just don't look like they do on other people, on me, and so uh, it really put me off some big dramatic looks that I used to really enjoy, so I'm going to get back into that in the new year, I'm practising. So this is one of the things I've been using. Another thing that has revolutionised my eye makeup is this. Um, and I don't remember whether or not this is something, I went to see Bobbi Brown recently, not the Bobbi Brown, but the brand Bobbi Brown, and I had my makeup done, and um, I was talking to the girl who did my makeup, who's lovely, and she, uh, I said, the big thing that I would love to be able to do again is a winged eyeliner, because I feel like, a little bit like when people wear glasses all the time and they take the glasses off and it looks like they've got no eyes, you know what I'm talking about. Apologies glasses wearers, but that's what it looks like. We're so used to seeing you with glasses on, that when you take them off, it's like, Oh my god, it's such a shock. And I feel like that was me and winged eyeliner for the longest time because I would wear it so often that when I didn't wear it, someone would always ask me if I was unwell or there was something different. They knew there was something majorly different about my face. Um, and I always looked tired. I felt like I'd just taken my eyes off, to be honest. Um, and so as my eyes have kind of become more hooded and are more drooped around the sides, it's very, very difficult to wing out my eyeliner. And I so missed the little wings and so what I've been doing instead because we kind of talked about it and she said oh we'll be able to do it and as she was doing it she was seeing the same thing that I do they're uneven as well is the problem um that you kind of do it and then it disappears when I like look like that suddenly the wings disappear so you can do them and they can be beautiful and then I relax my eyes and they disappear to like the tiniest crooked line it's so frustrating so one of the things that she did was kind of try to um blend it out a little bit with some powder and just soften it a little bit so it's less obvious that it's like a, a a specific line. Softened it, made it a little bit larger, it just was so much better. And so what I've been doing, because I think she used a gel, which is not quite as blendable for me, but what I've been doing, I've been using the Revlon Colorstay Pencil Liner in Black Brown, I think this is called. Um, black Brown, that's right. Uh, I've been using that and I've been using this Morph, Morphe? Morph? This brush, you know this funky little, angledy doodah 
this brush is what I've been using with this and I just like rub it over the tip of the um, eyeliner and I draw it on but it's not precise it kind of just like smoke it out a little bit and it's not black so it is that slightly softer look anyway so I, I just slightly wing out and draw along to like thicken my lash line I don't go all the way across I just it's so much easier to do it this way and if you find it difficult to use liquid eyeliner I would highly recommend you try this technique this is quite an easy brush to use um, but you could really do it with anything because it isn't precise just a smaller brush. Um, anyway, I kind of like smudge it along and then what I'll do after that is take, ah, so for example in this palette I used this, here we go, I used this colour here um, to then just go over that and again smudge it, make more of a wing and it just doesn't matter if it's not perfect because it is such a soft look, so much more soft than if you used a regular liner. So highly, highly recommend this tiny little brush you can get them from all over the place um, and using a liner and a shadow if you have the same kind of problem that I do um, also something because I've been talking about loads of different foundations that I've been enjoying recently I wanted to talk about a concealer the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics love I'm actually wearing Revlon Colorstay today and I'm not loving how it looks it's kind of settled into pores it just hasn't gone on that nicely whereas um, the It Cosmetics CC cream is amazing and I'm still yet to buy the full size and I really need to uh, and then I've been using this which is a very very heavy duty concealer and it, it does crease a little bit but not too badly and if I let it settle and then I blend it out it doesn't crease again it doesn't really move very very heavy coverage but you only need the tiniest tiniest amount this is um, what is this? Oh, I've just realised I've used the medium and I should have been using the light. I don't know how small this is, I can't see it, it's probably right there and I can't see it. But it's a very small sample size and I can't see me getting through this for a while. Um, I suppose I could use the medium on like breakouts and things and then light under my eyes, but whatever. It's a very very nice concealer and I think most people could get something from that if they just... I kind of try to concentrate my concealer just in there, I don't like to go across too much out there because that's where all of my fine lines are but there is kind of a smooth area anyway and that tends to be the area I want to brighten up so again if you struggle with creasing and kind of settling in lines just focus on that inner corner because that is the area you want to be brighter. Uh, talking of being bright, a nice little segue, I've been using this Hourglass blush which is the Mood Exposure I didn't use this very much because I found it quite difficult to blend. I thought it was just a bit much. I got like babushka cheeks straight away. I know I'm wearing a lot of makeup today because I was just playing with makeup and I knew I was going to be filming in front of this bright light so I kind of wanted to do a little bit something more dramatic just to see how it played against these new lights. Um, anyway, this I wasn't using very much at all and then I started applying it with um, a more dense brush. I don't have it to hand. But you know like a brush that you would, you know like a smaller foundation brush, like a buffing brush. I started using it like that and just using it, I tap it a couple of times into the pan and then buff it out. And I get that luminous um, sheen and a little bit of colour, a decent amount of colour because there's a lot in these. Um, but it just makes the whole thing so much easier to apply. Way, way more blendable and you still got that beautiful sheen but it's a little bit more dispersed and it doesn't feel like, ugh, like I just don't find these to be very easy to blend. Um, with a regular blush brush whereas obviously I love the dim light for highlighting I just put that kind of there and then you don't need to blend it because it's just kind of a sheen anyway but with the colours I think if you if you have one of these and you're trying to make it work use a buffing brush I'm not necessarily recommending that you jump out and go and buy one of these because they're very expensive and there are other things that work just as well but if you do have something that you found is difficult to blend and it is that kind of um, whatever it's called like a, not a marble what do I mean a baked cheek product you might really really enjoy that one and then finally the lip products that I'm wearing today I do have other things on top this is the most of the colour that you can see is the Urban Decay Naked Lip Liner I rediscovered this recently because I couldn't find something and I just thought oh, I'll pull this one out I love it so much I really really enjoy these lip liners anyway there are a ton of colours in fact I may just kind of dedicate a video to lip liners soon um, because I've become absolutely obsessed in the last year I slightly overdraw my lips I'm not into larger lips necessarily, lip injections, that makes me a little bit squeamish and scared because I know that when I've had things done around there that's pretty much the most painful area that you can, you know like for example plucking, oh my goodness, that's one of the most painful places that you can have threaded, um, that would still be behind this area, please, please, unless you have very dark hair that you're very self-conscious about and you feel like you need to for yourself remove that hair, never 
try to have this area threaded. Never. It feels like they are ripping off your face. And I know I've spoken about this before, but I feel like I can't get the message out to too many people. Um, I'm currently uh, waiting for a new device to arrive, like a hair removal, like an IPL thing. I'm very excited about that. I will be making a video. It's being sent to me, but it's not sponsored. And I will be quite happy to tell you if it's terrible because it's expensive. But I've actually been shaving all this area in preparation um, to use this device. Very, very excited. Uh, but yeah, Ugh, no, mm, threading, horrible. Um, on your eyebrows, fine. Top lip, mm -mm, mm -mm. not nice. So with that in mind, I don't think that I could have lip injections. I don't have anything against them. I'm just not planning on doing it myself. But I do like a slightly fuller lip. Um, and I think that it works really, really nicely to slightly overdraw your lip. Uh, and it just takes a little bit of practice. I love it. So I've been doing that. I've done that today. And then I've just got another very, very similar lipstick on top. It's called Doe. It's a lip intensity, lip, lip intensity, something like that from MAC. And um, I've just used a slightly paler... Uh, crayon in the centre of my lips to give it a little bit more of a fullness. But yeah, the naked lip liner is basically what you can see. That's the majority of it. Um, and it's just so creamy. It's like lipstick in, in formula. We'll have a whole video about it in the new year because I love lip liner. Uh, but that is it. They are five of my favourites right now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this lighting and stuff is good. Let me know what you think about it because I'm really excited to start filming more sitting down videos like this now that I feel like Finally, finally I've invested in my YouTube channel and uh, things are actually going to look a little bit more high quality in the new year. I'm so excited about the new year. I've got a huge list of videos to make. I want to do more sit down chatty kind of videos. Um, but with that in mind, because obviously I'm going to do a lot of prep in December, if you do have any particular videos that you've really enjoyed this year, you know, like series of videos that I've made, Come Shopping With Me is on the list. Um, anything I've stopped doing, like I don't do favourites very often. I don't do empties really at all anymore. Anything that's gone away, anything that you would like to see, please let me know, that would be super useful. Um, and yeah, normal Vlogmas will resume tomorrow.